Hey everyone, welcome back to the series on the brutal facts of lostness in the state of Alabama. Alabama is seen by pretty much everyone that you talk to uh, to be a part of the Bible Belt, as it's called. Uh, basically, the idea is that the Bible Belt is uh, part of the United States where there's a large number of people who, as it sounds, you would think at least, are structuring their lives around the teachings of the Bible. They would be Christians, right? So that's the assumption, at least, when we call something the Bible Belt. So in this series, we're looking at Alabama and looking at all of the different counties in the state to see, is that really the case? Is this really the so-called Bible Belt? And so we're looking at all of the 67 counties in Alabama and looking at a couple of different pieces of information to try to determine lostness, to see what the need is for there to be training in these counties to hopefully produce abundant uh, sowing of the gospel message. And so through this series, it's really our prayer that that individual followers of Jesus would really wake up to their responsibility to share the good news and to make disciples of Jesus until there's no place left. And so today we are looking at Clark County. And in Clark County, the population is somewhere around 23,622. And as we always say in each of these videos, we talk about this category of lostness. It's really difficult to wrap your mind around it uh, without having individual conversations. But we can look at certain trends to kind of see, hey, what's the spiritual trajectory in a particular area? So in, in Clark County, there are somewhere around 5,363 people that are unclaimed. And that just means that they're not connected to any kind of identified religious groups in the county. And of the total population, that makes up 22.7% of the total population. Um, and so, and always keeping in mind, according to some uh, people who study these issues, around 66% of people uh, are uninvitable to church. So meaning that they will not come no matter who invites them to come. So of that 5,363, about 66% of that roughly is uninvitable. They're not going to come no matter who invites them to a traditional church service. So this information is taken from the Association of Religion Data Archives. You can find it at thearda.com. That's T-H-E-A-R-D-A.com. The next data point we look at needs a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, the kingdom of God, we all recognize, is much bigger than any particular denomination. But in the state of Alabama, the Southern Baptist family of churches are a very large overall percentage of the churches in the state. So we can look at the trends within the Southern Baptist family of churches to see if that gives us some more indication about how things are trending in this particular county. So Clark County is a part of the Clark Baptist Association. And in the last five years, there has been a reported 61% decline in baptisms. And the number in 2016 of baptisms was 162. And then in 2021, 63 baptisms. So that's a 61% decline over a five year period. And then the number of the, the percentage of decline in worship attendance was 30% decline over the past five years. Uh, attendance across all of the churches in the association in 2016 were 2,891. In 2021, they were 2,020. So that's the 30% decline. And so these numbers, they just continue to tell us the same thing. Uh, if you guys are, have been following the series, we're seeing a trend, aren't we? The trend is decline, um, and the trend is increasing number of people who are in that unaffiliated or none category. So basically, the picture is not a, not a good one when we look at these statistics, and it should lead us to ask this question, what's it going to take um, to see these things change? We know that we need to do a couple of things. We need to pray desperately. We need to pray. Uh, every church planning movement in the history of the world can be traced back to a movement of extraordinary prayer. So we need to pray that God would move in our hearts and in the hearts of those around us. And then also we need training. 
uh, we need training that's aimed at uh, making disciples who make disciples. And so if you're interested in training, especially if you're in Clark County and you see this video, then reach out to the person who shared this video with you or leave a comment on this video and we'll follow up with you to get in touch with you to see what we can do to schedule a training in your area. So until next time, keep sharing, keep making disciples until there's no place left.